All right, so we're on, uh, still going through, to a certain extent, master class book, but we've sort of taken a side route on to some other topics that that I think are important um, that aren't really covered in the book, but uh, other than, you know, these are situations in holding games where we, we did some uh, break the anchor issues last time, and and now we're, now I'm going to look at the pay now or pay later uh, considerations, which are th things that come up if you're playing a holding game. So, um, not covered in the book, but it's certainly a relevant topic, and I haven't really seen it elsewhere yet. So, I thought we would cover it. Um, and so, as I mentioned, there are uh, this spreadsheet, which has all the, the notes we have for the match, is will be available to anyone that wants it. I'll set up a Google Drive. Uh, I think I already have one, but uh, and that people can link to if you, if you want it. Um, and along with all the other books, there's there's a, a similar kind of spreadsheet with this type of information on it and sometimes some other things as well. Um, so uh, just go to go over quickly the uh, considerations in pay now, pay later. Uh, they're the primary ones. I should put the primary here. Are... Um, shown in the first section. Uh, and these are, are you ahead in the race? So um, you're not ahead in the race, you're probably, what we're looking at is doing is, um, uh, we're gonna focus pretty much on midpoint holding games, but uh, if you're ahead in the race, you know, you're, you wanna race. So if you're not ahead in the race, you're gonna stay back and and you know not, not, pay, not pay now. Um, uh, how likely are you to pay later if you don't pay if you don't pay now? Uh, we'll look at some situations like that. Uh, so secondary to that is you know is your is your opponent going to improve uh, his position? You know the spelling make boy some other type. Um, or is your is your opponent improving or deteriorating? And are you improving or deteriorating? So if your opponent doesn't really have a board yet, maybe it's a good time to pay now. Because uh, if you get hit, you'll um, you won't have it's not it's not game over. Um, do you how greatly do you improve if if you pay now and then missed? Uh, uh, so is that you know do you have an easy is it easy easy win if you're missed? Um, often if it's an easy win if you're missed, you should it makes sense to pay sooner rather than later. Um, uh, and then basically, if all those things come come together. Uh, it's it, it's a pay now. Uh, generally, however, and there are some secondary considerations. I won't. Uh, well, I guess I'll mention quickly. You, you, are there any inner board blots for your opponent? Uh, obviously, if he has blots, it's less painful to pay now. You might get a shot. Um, is the cube turned? Generally, if the cube is turned, you want to be aggressive, more aggressive to take advantage of, of that to get them get the more points. Um, are uh, you duplicating any numbers? Uh, how bad is it if you get hit pain now? Um, uh, are you going to get fewer shots if you pay later than paying now? Um, if, is there a misprint there, Gary? What's that? Is that a misprint on five? Since it said pay now at, at the end, you got later twice. Uh, if I pay later, do I leave more or fewer shots compared to paying now? Yes, it is. All right, I didn't. Didn't edit this very well. Oops, I looked up. Question mark. And then this one should say, if I pay later, later, how bad is the alternative play? Okay, we're not really going to cover these two examples too much. But the, the bigger point here, I think, is that uh, number seven is if you, if you were if you're in doubt, it's usually better to pay later. Um, so if, if you've got all this stuff here uh, and it looks pretty good, then you should probably pay now. But if anything is missing, it uh, it's probably right to pay later. Um, so that's kind of the uh, summary of that. Okay, so let's go over uh, some examples. So here is a, I have been told, a classic position. Uh, from 
that Walter Trice came up with. Uh, Walter Trice was a famous backhand player, and he uh, uh, also an actuary, as I am, but and he wrote uh, the back backgammon boot camp or something like that, which is very one of the first books I read. It's a very very good book. So here, so let's look at this, I and mean, we're we're uh, we've got the midpoint holding game going on. And what do we think? Is this a is this a pay now or pay later? Do we what what's our best move? Because we can we we the pay now play is you know break the midpoint 138, 39. Um we leave the direct two, that's it. Uh or we can break the eight point or break the six point for that matter, or the six to the five. So let's just look at the considerations when you think about this. Um, I had in the race. Yeah, we're, we're ahead in the race, up 14 pips. Uh, how likely you pay later if you don't pay now? Um, well, hugely. We've got uh, we've got a couple rolls at least. Uh, if we don't do this one, we can always we, you know we don't have to break the eight point. If we don't break the eight point, now we can break the eight point later. We've got two or three rolls possibly before we're forced to break this. We could also get doubles in the interim. So um, you know we we're not we're not forced to break now. Um, here's another one where I didn't spell it right. Uh, and so, okay, and there's, okay, and there's our proponent, put a double P there, improving or deteriorating. Um, so this is like, uh, Black's got a five point board and he, there's a chance he might fill that point but it's not likely. So I would say in this case, it's he's not going to get better or get worse. Now, he might get worse if we if we hang on for a little bit because he might be forced to break his own five or six point and then you know, leave us two empty spots. So this one I would call kind of borderline. Uh, third point is, do I greatly improve how pay now and it missed? Well, if we come down, we're up 23 pips uh, and we're missed, you know, barring uh, double fives or sixes or something like that. I'd say we're in pretty good shape. Uh, this would be called, would be called, you know, this is, should be an easy win if we're missed here. Um, uh, now, now, I would just say easy. I mean, it's, you know, we're up 23, so that's not, you know, that's not in, an insurmountable lead. Couple of big doubles from the opponent, and you know, we're not we're not ahead anymore. But um, it's a pretty good pretty good chance. So, given all that, uh, what's the verdict? I think we have to do it now. I don't feel great about it, but yeah, I mean, I think like you said, I think the most important one is that we're probably not yeah. going to get Max the chance. Max Wilson now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyone else? No, I kind of feel like you could play uh, six two six one right now. You're you're still one move away from a five point board, and hold out for one more one or two more turns because yeah. we still have a five point board. Even if the spot that's open is a six, it can take them a while to get in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I won't belabor this one because this is one of those annoying positions you often get where you're actually both right and that it doesn't, it's a toss up really. Um, let's look at the plus plus even. Because it's kind of, you know, we went over the four things and you, you sort of have have them. Um, yeah, you're heading the race, but it's not an overwhelming lead. Uh, your opponent's position is not really going to change much, uh, but it's still pretty strong. 
uh, you do improve your position if you're missed, but again, your, your lead isn't that great. Um, uh, back, back to this one, you know, maybe it, it's possible your opponent would ruin his position, maybe, and you, you've got a couple of roles to get doubles that would really help. Um, so they're kind of a mixed bag. On those, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty good for pain now, and it's you know, uh, it's pretty even here. I didn't do this one, so yeah, and, and then clearing the, um, you know, clearing the inner board and giving yourself more time. This gives you more time for doubles, much better than clearing the A point. Um, I did it and, the wrong way though. It should have been six one five one. I said six yeah. one six. Yeah, that's yeah. an interesting one too, because you do you do make the point. It leaves you another five. Yeah, generally for XG, you, you do you break the point from the rear, but in this case, um, you don't. This one gives you, I guess the idea here is this one gives you another five to play. You're not yep. forced to yep. break with a if you roll a five. Um you can also make and make remake a point here uh by coming in with the eight if you get like a six two or something like that, or a six three. Um and so that's probably why. But often it's right to just break the last point. Um, uh, and then, you know, breaking the eight point. If you can break an inner board point, generally, uh, it's usually right to do that rather than break your landing point. Um, okay. But, but if you do the other move, the 13, 9, 13, 8, you got a better than two out of three chance of being missed. And you probably yeah. win if you're missed. And so I guess that's why the when Yeah, that's why it's this close. close. Yeah. That's I why mean, it's this close. I mean you had you had in, in this in this list, you had a lot of you, know, you were pretty good here, but they weren't all like overwhelming. Uh and so that's why that's why I say win in doubt, pay later. Um there's enough here to throw some doubt, I guess, uh in it. But it's still pretty close. Can you explain another, uh, the reference to, to the cube position? I don't know how that comes into it. Um, well, and generally, if you've already turned the cube, that's when you kind of want to go for the throat. That's when you're going to take take the risk. Uh, let's see okay. actually what this, this matters in this case. Yeah. But why, why is that? that? I'm not denying it, but I don't quite understand why. Um, well, because you're, you're, you have a high probability of winning here. Um, and so, you know, you want to put that to your, to your favor. So here's, this is interesting. Um, well, you know, in this case, it's, you have a two thirds chance to win here. So with a two-thirds chance to win, you want to have the, you want to have turned the cube already, uh, because here you're going to get if you're not hit here, then you you would probably cube and just take the point. Yeah, but suppose as in the original position, you have already doubled. Why, why does that make it more likely, according to your criteria, that you would pay? Uh, well, because your chances of getting of winning here are greater. Um, well, in general, the less if your opponent's got the cube. I'm sorry. Surely your chances of winning are less if your opponent has got the cube. Well, no, because you, you've already, well, you've already, you, um, well, no, the, no, the, your, the, your, your opponent's cube is, is ha, ha, gives him an advantage, but yeah. um, you want to get the two points here. Your chances of getting the two points here are better if you've already turned the cube. If you haven't turned the cube yet, at some point you're just going to, you know, it's going to make you not. This, these aren't gaminous positions, so you're you you know once you get the lead, uh, um, you're going to turn the cube and get take the point. So, um, uh, you know, in general, you you play a little bit more aggressively to to make sure that you get that you you, you win the game. All right. I don't want to get bogged down on that because that that that's a different, I guess, discussion uh, in the, of, a, of itself. So um, let's go on to the next.
one five four to play. So what do we think here? We can't play safe, whatever we do. Well, uh, we could clear the eight point. That would, I guess, be would be the safe play. Oh, I'm sorry, no, I didn't see that. Miscounted. Yeah, so we clear, and yes. Yeah, um, so let, let's go through the criteria again, just to so that Anne can repeat them for us at the end, and so she doesn't have to ask for the thing. <laughs> uh, are we ahead in the race? Yeah, we're ahead. We're way up in the race here. Fifty three. This this is you know clear racing league. Is uh, my opponent's position improving or deteriorating if I pay later? So here's a case where um, uh, Black doesn't have a whole lot here right now, but he's going to have, it looks he's got three, five spares. He's going to make another point next time. Um, and is our position going to deteriorate plate if we pay later? So, uh, yeah, we're, if we break the eight point, now we're you know, any six and we're, you know, we're forced to break. We might leave, might be forced to leave a double shot, probably, you know, six, two or something like that. That would be ugly. Um, uh, what else do we have? Do I greatly improve our play now and then missed? Um, uh so here if we if we played it in we do like 13 to 4. um i guess we're not quite out of the woods yet but i'd say it's pretty close so if we did this this would be the paint out later and we're missed um not quite 100 percent or 90 90 percent but probably pretty good What's the original position? Yeah. So any ideas? Is this a pay now or pay now or pay later? Trouble is, I think you're giving 19 shots, aren't you? Which is a lot. I still think you need to do it. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I think just 13 for all the reasons you said, you know, it's gonna be harder next time. We're way ahead now. So I would hope yeah. probably just play 13 to 4. Yeah, yeah, he's he's one move away from having a really scary board. The way his chips are so well uh, diversified, almost if we don't open now, almost any roll he gets is going to make another point. Yeah, yeah, he's going to move it. He's going to make an interboard point. This, this, these guys aren't going to move, or this guy, they're going to stay there. So they're next, they're next time. Any six, you know, we may get an extra roll if we roll, you know, a five something, or or anything but a five four, uh, but. Um, yeah, so the that this one this is a clear right um, pay now. Um and it's yeah, for the reason that it, it doesn't the only criteria that falls a little short of is this is not quite an easy win necessarily after the if, if we're missed, because we still have to bring this guy back in. Uh but the the compelling reason is is over here. Black is just going to get better. Um, and we're not likely, we don't, you know, we're not going to get two or three rolls to roll doubles. Uh, probably not anyway. Um, and so we don't really have the timing to, to, to monkey around with something else. Uh, so if now, we get, if we get hit, we've got a really good chance of a return shot because, um, if he hits fours, we're going to be really sad, but anything else, we're probably going to have an indirect shot at two of his uh blots out there and then we'll have a five point board and yeah so this yeah is that's right there yeah there are a lot of shots but anything but a, even a four yeah but fours um, would be terrible because then he could make his his four point because whip around there and well yeah double fours yeah but i mean if he gets if he hits with a four uh, non-double fours four five four six you know he's going to come in and, and you know probably try to cover if he can or but you know even a four one so any four he's going to make a blot or you know cover something but that still leaves at least one direct shot and you've got all these to come in 
uh, you know, got three points to come in on. So, uh, and, and you're up 50 pip. So, you know, even if you get hit there, it's not game over yet. Um, in fact, you're probably still favored to win, uh, even if we get hit, um, just because of the, of the race lead, even after losing, you know, 13 pips on the race, um, we're still way up in, in, in the game. Okay. Um, Let's see what we got here. The next one. Six two to play. Yeah. I I pay later because I pay later. Yeah, black is much stronger, and black won't find it easy to leave that block there. It's not whereas previously you had a point. Plus, if you if you pay later, black has to clear that nine point, and then all. Black yes. has, is an indirect shot over off the three point. Yeah. So yeah, those are, those are yeah, those are that's right. Pay later is better. Black can't leave this here. Right. Uh, right. Because a four hits it, and then you know, unless you get a I don't know what four a four two unless you get a four two, uh, you know, black doesn't have a return shot. Uh, but any other four, well, I guess four six doesn't quite do it. Um, uh, but yeah, aside from those, any four and, and, and we're in pretty good shape. So better to wait, uh, on, on this one, by you know, breaking the eight point and, and all the other thing too, is you do have three spares on the five. So you're only forced with the six. Um, and even if you get the six, uh, the next roll, um, you know, you may not. Uh, well, if you get a six, unless unless it's a six four, you're only, you're going to get just to leave the direct shot. And with all the spares on the six point, um, you know, you're going to get a couple more rolls. Again, black is going to have to move this. Um, so all that toys says, you know, pay later. Five three to play. All right, what do we do and, and, and why? You know what I mean. I think pay now. I mean, we have a we have a small race lead, and Black has the spare on the the eighteen point, which so he'll be able to keep it for a while. And I don't think we're probably going to get a better opportunity than this. The and the alternative is you know leaves two bots on our board, which I'd yeah. rather not do. Yeah, I think it's close though because Black has all those check checkers buried on the twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four points. Not going to be hard to come in if you get hit. And I don't, I don't see Black really improving their position very much, at least in the near term. I don't know. I think it's close. I, I would slot both. Slot both being what? Six, 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 one, and, five, six two? five, and yes. One yeah. and two. Slot the one and the two. Yeah. Okay, and, and why? Be because we're trying to by time, it, it may or may not help us, but it can't hurt. Yeah, and why are we buying time? Because we we got time to roll doubles or whatever, but we yeah. can't possibly leave more shots later than we'd have to leave now, and therefore wait until later. Okay, so this is a this is a. Uh, a little bit of a tricky one. 
One of the things, though, is that it, it is it's a pay later. Mm. Um, although that's uh, the I, one of the bigger reasons is that we're not really that much up in the race. We're up ten, which is good, but um, uh, and and eighteen after the roll, but. Uh, it's much better to be up. Let's see if we put this here. Maybe I don't know if that shows it. No, it's still the same. Uh, uh, but you know, Black's best chance at this point is racing. Um, so, and by 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 getting hit, we're sort of playing into it. Now it is true. Uh, we are ahead in the race again. Not not that much. Uh, how likely are they to pay later? Well, we've got a lot of time here to get the doubles to pay. So we may pay later. Uh, is opponent's position going to get better or worse? Probably not going to change much. He prob well, probably going to get better. Um, he's going to bring this one around with a big number. He's going to make an interboard point with smaller numbers. Um, so probably get a little bit better, but that's not overwhelming. Um how how great did you improve if you're missed? Um, and that's where the, the race comes in. It's the, we're probably not far enough ahead in the race uh, on this. And we and we do have the timing for the, the doubles. So um, all those things. Having said that, this I, I'm still a little bit surprised at the magnitude here of the error. Um, yeah, so it's a blunder to not, or to, to pay now. Mm. Uh, I thought, well, I would have thought it'd be a little bit closer than this. But um, uh, again, when in doubt, pay later. Probably the best advice there. Okay, let's look at So here's another tricky one. So let's go over the conditions again. In this case, there's no question we're way up in the race, 45 pips. Is our opponent's position going to get better or worse? Um, that's, a, that's an interesting question. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, Black is about to have to probably either break the 11 or I guess their 14 point or, or bar point next roll, probably. Right. Um, yeah. So it's probably going to get a, yeah. probably going to get a little bit worse. Right. Um, I mean, the safe play is going to re break the eight point. I get, I guess you could break, do six, one, four, two. Um, but that's kind of ugly. We're stacking, you know, Stack, you know, heavily. We're heavily going deep, which is which hurts our race, even though we're way ahead. But so the safe play is probably eight, breaking the eight point. Um, so we have a little bit of timing for black to break. And what we what we'd want is for black black to break this eleven point, um, and there and then not give us a direct shot uh, if we break when we break the midpoint. Um, any any five or six next turn for black is kind of bad, right? Even if they don't break their eleven, the uh, I guess fourteen or twenty point, they're going to have to leave a blot in their board. Yeah, yeah, and Blacks, yeah. Uh, if, they get a, if they get a six five next turn, they, you know, they they can hold out for a turn, but they're going to have two blots in there. Right. And then if you get hit, you got a return shot, and and he's, you know, I don't know. I I kind of feel like this is a pay later. Yeah. Also, if I were black, I mean, I think clearly black would prefer to get a shot now than in a roll or two. Oh yeah, right. yeah. You've got uh, the direct twos. That and perspective. The yeah, direct twos and the eights, and the this this may go away in a couple of rolls. So, uh, and and so. black doesn't want to leave a blot there. 
because getting hit on the bar with that mm. type of board, you don't want to do that. So, yeah, so this is a case of um, pay later. Um, and it's a big, big blunder to not uh, to not wait. Okay. It's even a bigger blunder to play both moves inside your board and lead your yeah. hand around, which is yeah. surprising to me because that's that's instinctively what I would do and to just be able to hold out a little longer. But uh, yeah, it'd be, that's, it'd be, yeah, it'd be worse one, than running. It seems a little odd, but yeah, but the, you 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 crack up your board. Well, I think the reason for this is you you've destroyed your board, so yeah. now black is not forced. To, to clear this point after you do that. So mm -hmm. uh, that's, you know, that's the problem with, with destroying your board. Uh, then, then, you know, then black play it like a six, five deep into his board because, okay. So then we roll a two, we hit, but then, you know, we've left, you know, three point a blot there and, you know, three, three open spots, you know, we, we're not, you know, we're not done yet. He isn't black doesn't have to worry about getting hit with that at that point then. So, you know, that's that's probably the reason why for that one. Okay. Let's go through some more for four two to play. Oh, Fourteen to eight. Easy. Jim says it's easy. Yeah. Let's look at this. Yeah. Head the race. Uh, we are heading the race. Uh, but again, not not a lot. 17 after the roll. Uh, I was I used to go ball the guideline 24 pips after the rolls, I would consider way ahead in the race. So um, from that criteria, we're, we are ahead, but it's not a lot. Uh, how likely are you to pay later? Um, well, here's a good one. Uh, we don't give them the shot now. Or are we going to give them a shot later? Well, look at this board. Black's going to have a hard time keeping that midpoint much longer. Mm. So that's a good point. Um, so his 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 board is going to is going to go well. His position is going to go bad pretty soon. He's got, you know, he's got these guys stacked here. They they're out of the match or out of the game pretty much. And he's, you know, if we leave it now, he, you know, he could conceivably get the two and get a cover. Uh, but you're duplicating twos. Yeah. Well, yeah, you are duplicating twos. You know, so um, I would be I, terrified of hitting white if I was black. But yeah. I'm wrong. do I greatly improve if I'm missed? Uh, well, certainly we are. We've got the five prime. We're maintaining a five prime here, yeah. and if we're missed, it's pretty much it. Although black still has the you know time for the really double sixes or big doubles, uh, is what he's going to hope for down the road. Um, all right. So in this case, uh, it's a close one. This yeah. is the pay now. It's the pay later, mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're identical, pretty much. Yeah, interesting. Um, and again, you've got these things that are, that are kind of offsetting each other. Uh, good reasons for doing either one. Okay, shows what I know. All right. We've got a couple more. Yeah, so here's a case where we've already paid later for a couple of rolls and we've centered some checkers deep uh, and we're out of, we're running out. So do we bite the bullet now and run, or do we continue to send checkers deep? Oh, 
a lot of shops. And I think I'd wait. Yeah, I continue to send. Yeah, I mean, these are hard, and I don't know. But, um, I mean, I would still sell even like 20-something shots, 20 as a four-point board is, um, feels like, feels like too much for our race lead and it's not like we lose that much by burying more checkers so that's probably what i would do but i'm not sure yeah well we've got a decent lead um after the roll we're, we're good we're going to give a double shot so just to, let's go through the criteria um we certainly have the lead now um are you going to pay later if you don't pay now probably i mean if black breaks a point he's going to break that point so we need like a six five to get past him or or double. Uh so we'll probably pay later. But is our position improving? Is Black's position improving? Uh it probably okay. would improve. Uh it's still pretty strong, but probably would improve. We might make this point or the ace point. Um, so it's gonna get better. Uh do I improve if I missed? Well, yeah, we do, but it's hardly a slam dunk after that. We've got to get two. We have two points in front of us blocked. Um, and even if Black is forced to clear the 14 point, we'll have one point in front, uh, but it's four pips away. So yeah, it certainly is good, but it's not exactly um, a slam dunk. So let's look at the uh, the answer on this one. And it's to pay later. Um, uh, and interesting to, you, you clear the five point, keeping your five, as a spare, since you don't have that point anyway. Um, although I guess this doesn't make that much difference. And this is the pay pay now position. Yeah, and it's a blunder to pay later. Yeah, and actually, okay, so actually, it doesn't look like it matters how you play the inner, how you break these points up. Um, although it is slightly better to leave the extra five. All right. Uh, let's look. I wanted to look at, I won't, we've been looking at all midpoint holding games. Um, but I want to take a look at one other situation that, that pops up. And this is knit. Uh, okay. So what I meant to show is after you roll the double sixes, uh, and say black hit five ones to roll to five one. Um, and you roll, and in these cases, uh, you roll a five. And so uh, the question is okay, do you break this anchor now? And uh, because you've got it, you've got a big race lead. Uh, you've got the double sixes, you've got, you know, something here, but this is a little bit awkward, uh, cause you're stacked. Um, and so, uh, there's not about, so I, I thought I might use to go through these, uh, all the rolls with the five in it and see what you do, uh, with, with the big race lead. So black has gotten a, uh, we should probably give them more than that. Well, let's just leave it at that. Big race lead. What do you think? 5-1. Break or not? Probably not if it leaves a double shot. Yeah. Leaves a double shot. So don't break. you got something mm -hmm. useful to do. And then coming down here is, is nice because you're not leaving a shot and you're bringing an extra spare. You should be able to make another inner board point, maybe hit uh, next time. And still plenty of play. 5-2. Is this a break? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, this is a break. Uh, you don't have a great play with the you know, part is you don't have a good five two otherwise. I mean, you're going to stack in the you know the six point, which is another a six checker. So that's not great. Uh, and then it's only a direct four. Even if you're hit, uh, the race goes back to even. You have a single check back, and black has nothing nothing going on. Five three. Now here we can we can run or we can make a point. I'd make a it's point. probably not good enough to go ahead. You make the point. 
Is that what you're saying, Michael? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it's yeah. We're all in the game, and yeah, you make the point. Yeah, and this is this is second. It's not bad, but you can make the point. Generally, make the point. It's a good idea. You've got other options here. Uh, you know, this play is pure running, uh, which is you know good because you're ahead in the race. But uh, this play, you know, you still you've got ten checkers in the zone, so uh, you can attack, you can crime, you can always race later. You know, Black doesn't doesn't have much going on. He was a good role; he'll get something. But uh, there are not many that that many good roles for Black here. Okay, five four. Um, what about that one? Run, run with those. Yeah, well, if 5-2 is a run, two. yeah, 5-2 is a run, 5-4 has got to be a run, too. Well, you have the option of making the two-point. I don't think it's right, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, you yeah, can make the two-point, but, you know, you, but, leave, yeah. you leave the, you Much leave worse, the yeah. two-point, yeah. Which, you know, puts Black on the bar, so that's good, but you leave a lot of return shots. Uh, right. You give up your race lead, and then, you know, you, have, you do have 10 in the zone, but... Um, that's not this. I guess it's not the best game plan here. Okay, so five five we're not going to look at because that's uh, well maybe we should look at it. I've spent a lot of time, but um, certainly you're going to break the anchor with the five five. Um, and the question really is, do you bring it all the way around or do you hit? Uh, I guess you. I guess this would be a play to consider too, um, and maybe it, it might be score based. That you know if you were if you needed the gammon here. Um, you might do this. You might hit twice. So, but it's it's the third best play. Uh, but again, if you need the gamma, you've got seventeen there. Seventeen percent gamma is compared to you know fourteen percent here. Okay, six five. Hmm. Run or no. I don't know. Yeah, you have some mm -hmm. options here with six five because you can, um, you know, you can point on either the two or the the ace. Probably the two would be better. Um, you could also play thirteen seven six to one. You leave eleven shots, but yeah. if he doesn't, if he doesn't make, uh, if he doesn't make a point. You're in a pretty good blitzing situation too at that yeah. point. Yeah, you have you'll have 14 checkers good. in the zone, and Black's got nothing. Yeah, I don't know this one actually. I think it is to yeah, run. Here. Say, okay. Yeah, yeah. Run or two down, better than okay, better than attacking. Yeah, yep, that's it. Better. better than attacking, uh, and then yeah, and then your play, Michael, was actually that that next plus play as opposed better than making a point here. Now, either the ace or the two. So I'm surprised making the two isn't better than making the ace, but. Yeah, no doubt. I, I, guess it, I guess it's because you leave the spare. You're using a spare from the six. Right. Think of that. You, even though you, the two-point is better for this purpose, using that extra checker as a spare lets you keep the spare on the eight-point. So uh, that's the run. All right, so just one more version quickly of, of this. All right. Can you go back to 5-1 and tell me what you did with 5-1? Okay, that was 13-7. to seven. And the idea is that we don't leave the double shot. If you break the anchor, you leave the double shot. But doesn't six five do the same thing? Um, that, le that leaves the double shot as well, right? Yeah, but it does bring it does bring the spare around, right? And it so, gives you a really good, yeah, like, uh, blitzing position too. Just yeah. like when the vice yeah. adjusted, so. <laughs> Yeah, and there were there yeah there were a lot of weaknesses in the other roles, other positions. Whereas mm -hmm. five one doesn't leave you doesn't leave a shot anywhere, um, and it sets you up to make a good point next time, uh, and possibly point at them. Let's just do very quickly. Let's now. This is the case where we're way ahead in the race. What if we black rolls a six five to begin with, say, and then like a three two or four one or something. Uh, and so now we're only up eight. Um, so we'll quickly go through the fives. So five one, uh, you know, it's going to be the same. 
it wasn't right to move when you had a big race lead. Certainly not right to break it when you have a, don't have a race lead. Let's look at five two. Uh, what do we think about five two? Now, now we're again the race lead isn't as big, um, but five two is not a very good roll. Um, so do we stack or run? I would think we're still ahead enough to run, but I could I could be wrong. So that's I think I would, I would run here. Yeah, so it's still yeah. right to run. It's just not as right, and because there's, you know, because of the lead, you see if that goes over here plus. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, so five three, it's going to be the same. It's going to be making the three point. If it was right four, it's going to be right now. Blunder not to five four. Well, we know if it was right to run in five two, it's got to be right to run in five. Four. Uh five five we won't go into it's gotta be the same. Um uh, not quite the same. Uh we yeah, it is better to hit on the ace point. Um but 18 d eight is, is good too. Uh six five. I would think it would be the same here as well. Let me just look. Uh and it's not. Okay, I was wrong, I was wrong about that. Uh, I didn't, didn't remember that one, but uh, so why is that? That's a good one. Well, you're not that far ahead, and you know he's only got one checker back, so it's a good blitzing position. Yeah, yeah. I think the single checker back is key because if you had another yeah. checker back here, your return shots from the bar. Now the only return shots are five, two, four, three. Right, because you got the one covered. So the one is covered. One six doesn't do it. And then you don't have a and, and remember in the other case, you know, we had a second block here. So any five, uh, if we made the ace point, any five coming in. So you had two, five, three, five, four, five, five, five hits. Uh, in addition to five, two, and uh well, we already counted five, two, but and four, three. So um you had like eight, uh or no, six, seven. Eight nine shots compared to here, you've got four shots. Uh, so that that seems that I would guess that's the reason why. Um, the, the biggest reason why again the race lead is part of it too. Okay, so that's it on pay now. Actually, there there are a whole lot of other examples we could go through that are a lot of these are really challenging. But uh, you know, generally, if you get the right it, and we we looked at more, I think more challenging positions than. Uh, but and a lot of these I think are easier. But if you get these, uh, you know, if you if you get these kind of internalize these considerations, uh, a lot of the a lot of the cases are easier than the ones we looked at. And if you if you do these, you generally you'll get it, be able to get it right. And, you know, we looked at a lot of them that are close, but um, uh, most of the time they're not really that close. And most of the time it is it is pay later. So um, just keep those in mind. Okay, let's get on to the next to the uh, 